the second building to be re-roofed for Melrose Investments 3375 North Service Road. Burlington BUR allows the roof to be built up from the decking to the gravel as depicted above. This BUR roof has been torn down to the steel decking, with the right crew this is done quickly. Roofs are measured in squares, a square is a 10 feet by 10 feet 3 meters by 3 meters. This roof is 497 squares, it will need to be re-roofed a section at a time, over several days. The size of the section varies according to factors such as weather, crew size and the roof specifications. While the old roof is being torn off, the kettle is prepared to deliver the hot bitumen when needed. The building up of the new roof starts with the application of a vapor barrier. The starting point for the vapor barrier and the new insulation is where the tie-in was removed. The insulation is mechanically fastened to the steel decking according to this roof specifications. Once the process starts the crew will work on several steps at once as they work across the roof. All roof penetrations like this drain or cut in during the process. The crew also anticipate what will be needed next and prepare the materials for this step. As the insulation is being fastened to the deck the fiber board is ready to be tarred to the insulation. This means making sure there is a lot of bitumen in the kettle ready to be applied to the roof. The bitumen in the kettle is pumped up onto the roof and into the waiting lugger. The bitumen from the lugger is poured into a mini mopper, ready to be applied to the roof. The mini mopper is pulled over the insulation leaving a uniform layer of bitumen. The fiberboard is slid over the bitumen evenly spreading the bitumen under the fiberboard. Once enough fiberboard is applied bitumen is mopped onto the fiberboard ready for the membrane. The first layer of membrane is applied, this roll is butted up to where the tie-in was removed. The process of overlapping membrane and bitumen is repeated until the membrane is four layers thick. The application progresses across the roof until the parapet or the next section of old roof is met. At the parapet a strip, a triangular wedge, is placed underneath the base sheet striping. The can strip prevents sharp bends, then a second layer of UV protected cap sheet is applied. To protect the roof from UV damage and the effects of weather, a layer of aggregate, gravel, is applied. A skid steer scoops up gravel and dumps it in the conveyor belt's hopper where it is sent to the roof. At the roof the gravel is loaded into a power spreader ready to be evenly applied to the roof. First, a flood coat of bitumen is applied to the top layer of the membrane using the mini hopper. Then the power spreader is used to distribute the gravel quickly and evenly onto the hot bitumen. Hand mopping from a bucket, a manual spreader and rakes are used to complete the roof's gravel. Metal flashing is added to all the roof penetrations and parapets to provide a weather barrier.